Welcome to Flow Video. I'm your host AC and in this clip we are going to learn how to get into three ball juggling. All right, but first we're going to start with one because it's easier. <laughs> so you can juggle with many different items first of all. Uh, juggling balls are obviously some of the best things but you're going to say AC I don't have juggling balls at home. No problem. Socks work great. Especially if you have smaller feet, not like my big boats. But you can take socks, you can use three rolled up socks to juggle. They also, I'm in an apartment, so they also make less noise when they hit the floor, not disrupting my neighbors downstairs. So you might want to think about that before you choose what you're going to juggle with. Or you can do like AC does and juggle over a bed or your couch. You can't see it right now, but right around where you can't see my hand, that's my bed. So watch this. If this falls, I can... I don't have to bend over and I can pick it up. So you can also juggle over the bed to uh, maybe not disturb your neighbors if you have any downstairs. So balls work well. Obviously juggling balls work the best. Tennis balls are great too, but sometimes they're annoying because they land and roll away from you and then you have to go chase them. Unless you're on the bed, huh? you just pick it up. I love that move right there. And scarves are a great starter because they float a little longer, giving you a little more time to sort of react to your movements. All right, so whatever you're going to use, I am actually going to use these fun uh, colored juggling balls. Why? Because they have a really cool effect on the screen, and uh, I just think it'll be fun to use today. So, first you're going to start with one item, whatever it is, your scarf, your juggling ball, your tennis ball. And we're going to get our palms up, and all we want to do is make sure we get the ball playing catch with ourselves, side to side, <sighs> breathing, making sure we're not stressed. When I hold my breath... Look, my body stays tight. I can't actually move as better. If I take a deep breath, my body's a little looser. I can move a little better. Now, the goal here is to make sure the ball is the same height with both hands. We tend to throw one hand higher and one hand a little lower. Let's make sure we get the same height. Once you're at this level, you say, AC, I got it. We can move to two balls or two scarves or two socks, whatever you're using. All right, notice, too, we never passed over, right? I never switched. I was always up and up and up, right, back and forth. Okay, so when we get two of them now, all right? So palms are up, and also too, I'm not keeping my hands like this. I'm trying to keep them low, a bit lower, okay? So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna picture a bit of a box, okay? When I throw one ball, I wanna hit the corner of that box. Once it hits that corner, I'm gonna throw the other one. And they're both gonna fall, completing my box. Uh, the deal with that is I want to wait for that to hit the corner before I throw the other ball. It's not at the same time. It's a one-two kind of movement. For example, one, two. Doesn't even matter which hand you start with. Whatever you're comfortable with is fine. One, two. Now the idea here is one, two. I'm trying to get them both the same heights and I'm not crossing over. It's a one, two. Okay, we got that? That's stage two. Once we get this, again, I'm not going at the same time. It's a one-two process here with two of them, all right? So let's get to three. This is quick. You're going to probably have to practice, by the way, the one ball for a little while. Then you might have to practice the two for a while. I've been doing this for about 10 years, so I've <laughs> had quite a bit of practice. So when we get three balls going, this is where it gets hard, but it's a lot like riding a bike. Once you get it, you get the feeling, and you can do all kinds of cool stuff after. So... Here's the only real thing you got to remember. Whichever hand you want to start throwing with in your juggling is the hand you want the two items in. If you're using scarves or socks or something lighter, it's two hands, uh, two items in the, in the hand you want to start throwing with. I tend to start throwing with my left, even though I'm a righty. It doesn't really matter. So I have the two balls in the hand I want to start throwing with, and I make my one-twos. One, two. Remember how we were doing that? One, two. Some people practice just like this with another item in their hand just to get used to it. But then this is kind of the part you need to train your brain is to remember to throw that third and final item you have. I've always told myself, throw, 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 because my monkey brain wouldn't allow me to do it at the beginning. So check it out. It's a throw, throw, throw. So right when we did two, it was the one, two. Now we're going to add the third. One, two, three. Woohoo! <laughs> right? One, two, three. Notice we're trying to get them all at the same heights. And I'm always trying to hit those corners. I'll get a little lower for you. Always trying to hit those corners. Corner, corner, corner. And notice once it hits the corner, I start launching that other ball. After we get into 
these cascades. I'll throw in some new clips of some tricks. Couple little tips and reminders. Our feet aren't stuck to the floor, so I don't have to just stand there. I can move around. If I throw the ball too far one way, I can go and grab it. I can move around. Another tip, let's try not to keep our hands high. If our hands are too high, I'm not even in the screen, I don't think anymore. But if our hands are too high, my hands are up here, I have gravity on my side. This ball's always gonna come back to my hand. It's always gonna come back to it. So I let gravity just let it come down. I don't need to go get it, okay? So that's kind of a quick little way to practice and learn how to do three ball juggling. Stay tuned on the YouTube site and you can reach me anywhere on Flow With AC Instagram, Flow With AC Facebook, Flow With AC 3, Gmail. Leave me a comment, let me know how your juggling's going. Let me know what you're using, using for juggling so I can pass on some information to other people who wanna juggle but don't have cool juggling balls like these ones. And let me know where you're at. Let me know if you need some other help or any other kind of little hints that I can uh, shoot out a video for you with. All right? Everybody stay safe, juggle, Find your energized focus, have fun, and we'll see you soon.